Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a giant blackhead strip. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos. I showed you this product over a month ago and 66% of you wanted to see me try this. So today is the day I'm gonna be trying this. This is the Taco Pack. It's a three-step blackhead clearing solution. This is what the packet looks like inside. It opens up. As you can see, it's quite long. There's step one, two, and three. In each box, there's three packets, so you can remove your blackheads three times. And you can find this product online anywhere from about $10 to $15. On the packet, it says, this pulls out sebum and blackheads from your forehead and nose perfectly, even invisible sebum and blackhead. Even if it's invisible, it will pull it out. I'm not too sure if you will see it after because it's invisible, but that's what it says. Now what's really unique about this product is the shape and the size of it. I've never seen a blackhead strip so big. It's apparently gonna cover like my forehead down to my nose and I think a part of my cheeks as well. If those are the main areas you usually get blackheads. Some people get it around on their chin as well, I do. But this strip pretty much targets that area. And unlike the regular pore strips, this comes in three steps. Now, because I have beauty lighting on here, you may think that I don't really have any blackheads, but I took some photos earlier to show you guys that I do have blackheads. Obviously, they're not so crazy, but still, I hope this can remove some of it. So I'm gonna start off by applying pack one. It's so big. It actually smells quite nice. It just feels like a mask. Oh wow, this really covers up. My nose. So step one helps to soften and open up the pores and the blackheads. So I'm just gonna let that do its thing and hopefully it'll soften up all my pores and blackheads. And whilst I'm waiting for this to work, I'm going to get my mum and I'm gonna try this on her. I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched that previous video that I filmed with my mum where I tried the blackhead tweezers out. That got like five million views or something. So she's absolutely a star now and um, it was really hard to get her on board. So please put your hands together for my mom. <laughs> Here's my mom. Mom say hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I love she's the cutest. Okay, so I have not touched her nose since that video. So I'm sure like, actually I can see, I'm, I'm like 100% sure some of the blackheads came back. She's still got like her open pores, oh, they look really good. I'm like, I'm so excited to try this product out on her. It's definitely gonna work better on her nose than my nose, because she's just got a farm of blackheads happening there. Not that it's a good thing, but it's just really satisfying to watch. So I'm gonna do the same on her. I'm gonna put number one on her. So I'm gonna pop this piece here first. Quite wet, there's like a lot of product on this. And now we pretty much just wait for this. It doesn't really feel like anything on the skin. It just literally feels like I've got a really like hydrating mask or something because it's quite wet. There's no stinging sensation. It doesn't, um, it doesn't, it doesn't feel hot or anything. It just feels like I have a wet mask on my face. This actually looks so fun. Even Alfred wanted to join in. He was like helping us film and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it too. So we've got the whole family trying it now. <laughs> My one has dried up, I guess, because I applied mine first. All right, my mum's one is still quite wet, so I think it's time for me to remove mine. Whew. Now I'm ready for step two. So here it says, remove transparent film with dry hands, apply the strip to wet nose and forehead. So I've got to wet my nose and my forehead, and I guess my cheeks as well, right? And apply it in the order of tip of nose, nose wing, and forehead. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It is huge. This is literally the biggest pore strip I've ever seen. It's dry. It's just like a sticker. You know, like most of the uh, pore strips that you can buy, the like Biore ones or like the small ones. It's kind of like the same thing. They, can't, they come on a plastic strip like this. However, this is just gigantic. So first I have to wet my nose. I've got a damp cotton pad here. So I'm just gonna wet it with this. It is quite damp. I think it's too damp now. It's like dripping onto my eyebrows. This is so big. So I gotta apply it on the tip of my nose first. Oh, this is flimsy. 
feel like I didn't wet it far enough here. It's like literally on my cheeks. I'm gonna flip this up. Whoa, it goes quite high. Just make sure it's all wet. Okay, so that's on. It's um, all stuck down and made sure it's really damp. Her one's just about dried up now. I'm gonna remove that. It's gonna wet that all over. Pretty much to the sides here as well, all the way on her cheeks, cause that will cover it. Okay, so tip of the nose first. I'm just pressing down. And it sticks to the area that's wet, so you have to make sure it's quite damp. Okay, so that was a success. I was surprised I didn't stuff it up. Um, now we just wait another 10 minutes for this to dry and I can feel mine hardening already. Hers is still quite soft. So another 10 minutes and whilst we're waiting, I should fix Alfred up. <laughs> Come here. You know what they say, a family that pulls out their blackheads together, stay together. I feel like I'm a blackhead therapist now. <laughs> I'm an expert at this now. Ten minutes has passed and my strip has gone really hard. Mum's one is pretty hard too. It just feels really stiff and it feels like I paper mache my nose or something. It's like, it's really solid right now. So I'm gonna remove mine first, so let's get a close up of this. I don't know where to begin. Does it say a way to remove it? It doesn't really say how to remove it. Okay, I'll just, I'll just remove it. I'm gonna start off at this side. Ho ho ho. I can feel my hairs being pulled out. It's making my eyes water. Whoa! Whoa! This is crazy! A lot of this sticky residue is still left on my nose, but it did get some of my blackheads out. I'll show you guys a close up. Those are my blackheads. They're really small, but there's actually a lot of them. And my blackheads aren't really that black. They kind of look more like whiteheads. If I turn it this way, maybe you can see it a little bit better. I'm so glad I pulled mine out. It was painful, but not like, not like heaps painful. It was totally worth it because some of my blackheads came out. But this is the moment of truth. I'm really excited to pull mum's one out because she has like larger pores and more blackheads. So hopefully we'll get better results with her one. So let's zoom in on this one. Ready? Now um, oh, do do fun. Yeah. Pull these side ones first. Oh, sorry. Oh, her face is a little bit red. Mac my hide harder. <laughs> Whoa. I'm a little bit disappointed. Like some did come out, just not a lot. I feel like, no, I'm going to you. But here, I'll show you guys. You can see it there. A few of them did come out, but a majority of them didn't. Okay, let's see if Alfred's one worked, okay? I mean, it does work, it just like, mum's one didn't come out. I just feel like I had high expectations for her one. I don't know about your one, but are you ready? Just lift it up, just like pull it straight up and slowly, yeah. Oh yeah, yours worked. This is Alfred's one. I think he's one worked the best out of all of ours. See how many blackheads he has on the sides there. That's actually really satisfying to see. It actually works. To finish off the whole process, I'm gonna apply the tightening mask, which is step three on mum first. This one feels like the first mask. So what this mask does is help tighten up the pores and control the sebum, so the oil flow. I'm going to apply it on my nose. This one you only need to leave on for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes, so we're gonna take this off. Whew. Okay, so that was pretty fun. The whole family got involved. In terms of my results, I actually was quite surprised that a lot of it came out, even though it was like really small. But when I show you the zoomed in footage of it, it's actually a lot of little blackheads. But with my mum's one, her one didn't 
didn't come out as uh, as I expected. I thought a lot of them would come out, but I think a lot of them are deeper, whereas mine is more surface and maybe easier to, to get out. Whereas her one, if I, I had to go in and actually squeeze for them to come out. So it didn't really work too well on her nose, but in saying that, we did get some really like dark black ones out. This product definitely worked the best on Alfred's nose. A lot came out and there were, some of them were quite dark and pretty disgusting, but super satisfying. Now, what would I rate this? Ooh, it's a bit of a difficult one because it didn't really work well on my mum's nose, but it worked well on Alfred's and my one. So I can't like guarantee that it's gonna work the best on everyone and the result's gonna be amazing. I can't guarantee that. So I think I'm gonna rate this product a seven and a half out of 10. Compared to a lot of other blackhead products or blackhead strips on the market, this one is a three step one. So it does take longer than the other ones. I remember like, I think the ones that you can get from the supermarket, you only leave on for maybe like 10 minutes max. This one, however, the first step is already like 15 to 20 minutes. So you do need a bit of time to use this product, but I do like that it has that extra tightening mask because it does help to really moisturize that area and tighten it up after you pour the blackheads out. So you want the pores to kind of like shrink down. I still like the blackhead tweezers better for removing blackheads. This one you can get really cheap online for a few dollars and it works really well on most blackheads. I tried it on my mum who has, I guess, deeper pores and like bigger blackheads. So it worked really well for her. So that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I need to announce the winners of the silver chrome mask. I picked three winners. So these are the three winners. Congratulations to all three of you and thank you to everyone who entered. I will be in touch with you winners and I'll be sure to get your products out. If you didn't win this time, don't worry because I will be doing more giveaways later on. So make sure you keep watching my videos to see which giveaway is next. That's it for now. Make sure you hit subscribe below to stay updated with future videos and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>